Welcome to, to Crafty Wafty! Hi everybody, Debbie from Crafty Wafty here. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about chameleon pens and some of the products that you can get, uh, that you can use your chameleon pens with. And one of the products is these lovely cards. Now they come in a variety of different styles. So this one is called Nature. You get um, 16 cards in total, which are a 300 GSM. So it's a really good quality card. Four by six inches, a nice size for if you're putting on a card or you want to put it in a photo album, maybe, or a scrap page, for example. And you get eight designs of um, different designs of the cards. So this is nature. So let's have a little look inside and see exactly what we've got. At the back it does show you the pictures and it also shows you some colour cards but let's have a little look and see what we've got. Right let's pop that over there. Okay so here as you can see you've got your beautiful cards that you can colour in so it's like little mushrooms or like the little koi or i love a few ladybirds or ladybugs whatever you like to call them got some acorns oh the butterflies are quite nice with the sunflowers that's quite good i might do that one in a minute and over on this side what you get is you actually get some colour cards that are going to help you um, to shade in your pictures Obviously, you don't have to follow these, but if you're just starting out, these are a really, really good idea. What I like is here is that it gives you what the um, pen colour is that they've used. OK, so at least you know which pens to select from your chameleon set. And it also tells you where the sunlight is hitting the image. So you know where you're going to be doing your highlighting. So for here, example, it's coming sort of middle left. Um, and you can see here where we've done a little bit of highlighting on the leaves and on the tops of the acorns. Here, for example, the highlight is coming down from the top right corner. And again, it shows you the different types, um, different colour pens that you can use. So I think these are really, really handy tool to use if you're just starting out with chameleon pens. And to be perfectly honest, you know, I'm quite a newbie to chameleon pens. So for me, these are a really good way of practicing what I want to do. So this is the one that I think I'm going to have a have a go at today. And I've got my four colour pens, Y03, which is Warm Sunset, VR5, which is Bark, BV4, which is Blue Violet, and GR3, which is Grass Green. So let's have a little go. Right, let's have a go at doing some colouring. But before we do that, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the chameleon pens. Now, these are quite chunky, actually. I mean, I never realised when I when I got them just how, how thick they are, but they're good. You can really hold on to them. They've got lovely, lovely feel to them. Now, what you have here is you have like the blending section up here, which has got the little blending nib, and I'll talk about that in a moment. And then here is where, if you pull that out, you've got one end, which is your brush end, and one which is your bullet. So if I open here, you can see that's my, bullet, um, my brush end, which is really quite fine. And then on the other side, oh, give that a pull, is the, is the bullet end, like so. OK, and then in here you've got, I don't know if you can see down the camera there, but you've got the, the little nib at the end. Now, reading through the instructions from Chameleon, basically what they say is, is that these pens should be stored horizontally. OK, and they suggest that before you start with the pens is to get a rough idea of the type of shading that you want to do and you know how long you're going to sort of use your blending solution in order to get the different shades so i've just got a bit of scrap card here that i'm going to have a practice on because what i want to do is, is looking at my picture i can see that there's very fine highlighting on the petals so i won't want to leave my pen in the solution chamber too long so let's have a little go i'm going to have a go with the green first so what you do is is that you take off your blending bit and then you decide which nib you're going to use now I quite like the brush nib so I'm going to go with that let's just pop that pen over there and what you have to do is is you have to hold your pen upright and place your tube or your 
your little chamber as it were with a blending nib just over the top and when you're doing that I'm just going to tilt this to the side so you can see it for a minute but the idea is is that you're going to end up pushing the two let me move me that up closer to the camera you can sort of see there's the green one I'm moving in and out and the nib and the idea is is that they touch you're not going to clip the lid onto that because you could damage the end of your nib but you just want them to touch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that up now and just let that sit for five seconds one two three four five okay now I'm going to take that out I don't know if you can see but the end of my tip it's gone slightly lighter so what I'm going to do now is just have a little practice so there it is and as I'm bringing that out you can see the colour coming through a little bit more so I've started shading and then it's coming through and this is the actual this is the actual colour of the pen so you can see that beautiful blade and that was for five seconds so I'm just going to pop my lid back on for the minute and what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to write on the card by the side of that five seconds this is just going to give me a guide that when I come to do my colour in I can see exactly how much of a need in terms of a blend so looking at my picture that they've got here they I think they're not far off of that perhaps I might go for a three second so let's go again and try with a three second so I'm going to take that off I'm going to use my brush end and again I'm going to hold it upright and I'm just going to count to three one two three okay so that's three seconds and let's have a little look how that comes out and as you can see, the colour is coming through much more darker, a lot sooner than what I did here with the five. So I'm going to put on there three, three seconds like that, just so it gives me a bit of a guide. So I think looking at some of my picture, I'm probably only going to use maybe three and five in terms of colouring. So I'm going to do the same again for, let's just try the yellow, because the yellow at the top here of the sunflower, very, very, very tiny little bit of highlighting. So I might only need to do this for two seconds. So let's just, oh, wrong, wrong end, there we go. Right, okay. So I'm just going to hold that up and go one, two. Right, it's just two seconds. Let's have a little look. okay not too bad but I think actually perhaps I do need to leave it just a little bit longer so let's just write by the side of that two two seconds oh that pen's running up right okay let's just let's go let's go for five again and see what happens one two three four five and again right so I've got a bit more okay so just having a look at that i think actually on my flowers five seconds might might be might be good on the petals so let's just write five seconds okay all right so i've had a little practice in terms of what i want to do for my coloring i think with the brown here on the um on the top of the butterfly we might even go down perhaps maybe six or seven seconds but I think when I get to that we'll we'll have a little play first on some scrap to see what it looks like but I'm definitely going to start off with the yellow and the green so to start with I think I'm going to um, work with the green first that's really quite fine so for me, I personally like to use the brush end because I find that I have a little bit better control and because it's quite thin to colour in here, I'll be able to, to sort of do a, a really nice finish on that. So I'm going to just start. Now for the main stem coming down here, on the picture that they show you, there's hardly any, any shading at all. So I am just going to colour them in. Now they suggest that you hold the pen as upright as you can so um, you get the good flow of the ink coming down so let's just bring that down like so okay and just on the main bit of the stem here that looks to be quite 
quite dark. Let's just colour that in there and just come down that middle bit here. So that's the darkness of there because we're going to do some shading on the leaves. And this one at the bottom here, because it's a little bit thicker, they've actually put a little bit, just a tiny bit of highlighting on there. So let's have a go and get the highlighting chamber bit out. Okay, so looking at that, I think we're probably going to go for maybe three seconds. So let's go one, two, three. Okay, always a little bit of a practice bit of card next to me there. Okay, and then I'm just going to take that up there so we get the highlight and then come back a little bit more with the dark. Now the beauty of these pens is because they're alcohol pens, once they dry you can go back over again and give a little bit more definition. Okay, right, now we're going to have a little look at the leaves. So I think for the leaves, I'm probably, well, we'll start off with three again and then see how we go. So one, two, three, just gently does that, a little practice, that's it. And then because you've got the highlight bit here, so basically I'm just going to start at the top here and then bring, as you can see, I've got that colour coming down a little bit darker. So let's just bring that round and then it comes in a little bit darker here towards the other flower so let's just bring that in now i'll be perfectly honest i'm not an expert at coloring it's at the end of the day it's what you like to do so just sort of coloring that in i think if you heard that that was my alexa talking to me in the background <laughs> All right, uh, let's have a little go at this leaf now. So we've got a little bit more highlight on there. So actually I might try the five seconds. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Again, just a tiny little bit on there, just to start us off. And again, just looking at that. So I really wanna come backwards and forwards, getting the, getting the highlight bit first. And then as it comes through, darker as it comes closer to the stem and if you remember the stem is what we did in the dark green color which is the color that it that it is already okay all right that's not too bad and these really flow quite lovely these pens are really are i've got a nice feel to them Right, let's come over and do this other little one. Again, tiny little bit of highlight on there. So let's just go with three seconds. One, two, three. And we'll just do the highlight bit on there. And then we're just going to bring that bring that down a little bit darker. But if you if it's a little too light, you can go back and just blend over over the top to get a little bit more definition on that. So there we go. So that's our leaves done. Right, so let's have a little go now at one of the sunflowers. So they suggest to use YO3, which is warm sunset, which is what I've got here. Again, because we've got some fine detail in there, I'm going to use my brush nib. So let's pop that over there. And I think to start with, I think let's go for just a three second, just to see how that is going to come out. Let's have a little look. So let's just pop that in. All right, one, two, three. Just try a little bit on there. So that's quite nice. So I'm just gonna go with this main petal here because that'll give me a bit of an idea. So again, keeping the pen as upright as you can. And as we get to the middle, you get a little bit darker. Okay. I see, I can go over that. That doesn't look too bad. In fact, I could probably just go over that a little bit darker. This is the beauty of these pens is that you can do that. And let's go again. One, two, three. And I'm just going to come in a little bit more just to sort of blend that in a little bit even. Okay. All right. Now we'll go for the next couple of petals. And again one two three three seconds 
Now this one's got a little bit more sh light coming from the side, so let's bring the petal this way a little bit. Shading. And then make it just a little bit darker at the centre. Centre, like so. Oh, gone over the line there a little bit, but not to worry, because that will get blended in on the next one, so I'm not worried about that. Right, and then we'll go again. One, two, three. This one's got a little bit of highlight at the top here. So because of that, I'm going to bring the colour in and then come in. And then I know that the darkness, the dark part of the ink will come in. So that will just, just give that a little bit of detail like so. Okay. And another one. Here we go. One, two, three. And this little one at the back. Let's just do, do that. And then just come in now obviously because of the petals behind it you can see the gap here so I'm just going to add a little bit of darkness in there but I can go over and just go in that a little bit more all right so I'm going to carry on doing the um, sunflowers and I'll be back in a moment ready for the butterflies to get finished Now that I've finished colouring in the actual petals of the sunflower, I'm now going to do all the the brown on the picture. So the brown that we're using is called Bark and it's number BR5. So again, as you can see, I tested out here with the green for the leaves and for the sunflower. So I'm just quickly going to do that on the on the brown. Um, on the bark colour, so let's just hold it in for three seconds. One, two, three. Because this is a slightly darker colour, I want to see. So I know I can see already that that's not going to be light enough, so I might have to hold it for five. So let's go with five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if that's going to be. Okay, that gives us a little bit more, but it's still not quite enough that I want for on this edge here. So I'm thinking that I might have to go eight. So sometimes it's just a little bit of trial and error. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's see if that makes any difference. Okay, that's not too bad actually, but still not quite enough. So I think let's go, let's go 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Just try this. Perfect, 10, I like the look of 10. So before I forget, <clears throat> what colour that I'm going to do. I'm just going to write, let's just grab a pack here. So that was 10 seconds, that was eight, that was five, and that was three. So it just, again, gives me a bit of a guide because I'm going to need some darker colour to come round when I come to do the butterflies. But as you can see here, I think I'm, 10 would work well round where the, where the petals are. So let's have a go with one of these first things as well now what I love about these pens is is that you have because they are nice and easy to hold you've got really good control over them and I think they just and anybody really can sort of have a go at these pens I mean I'm not a brilliant colorist by any means and and actually I'm quite pleased with what I've done I know I've got my guide here but even just where it shows me where the sun is shining you get the light coming across I've been able to sort of pick up that highlight which I'm really quite pleased about so let's have a little go at the inside so what did I say 10 didn't I so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we're going to start off again because i know the light is coming in at the top here so i want that slightly shaded and then i'm just going to come in and just do a little bit of darkness and it almost looks like they've got like a little bit of patterning going on in here so sometimes you can do like little little squirrels sort of almost move the brush nib around just to get a little bit more of a 
technique. Now that's gone a little bit dark there, but not to worry, because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to blend again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm just going to sort of go over that and just blend that down a little bit. And I'm just going to give little, little circle movements, which hopefully will just give it a little bit more, a little bit more texture, like so. Okay, well, not too bad, not too bad. This is all trial and error, like I was saying. So let's just have another go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm just gonna blend that down just a little bit just to give that a little bit more function. okay not too bad right so let's come around and do this one now this one seems to be a lot lighter so i might even need to go a little bit longer so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'm just going to sort of come around that little bit there and then you get the darkness coming through a little bit. There we go. Alright. Okay, actually that one's worked quite well on there. So I think I'm just going to come back to this one and just add a little bit more lightness in there just to blend that in a bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is why these cards are just so so useful because you can you can mess around and just have a have a practice with them. I'm just going to add a little bit more acid just to sort of blend that in. And the beauty of the alcohol inks is is that they they dry really quickly, which means that you can sort of go go over that in a little bit more detail all right okay well that was a little bit darker but hey ho still still quite pleased with that right let's come down and do the one of the butterflies so let's have a go at this one here so again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so i'm just gonna come down i'm just gonna do a little bit of the so you just get a little bit of the shade in those edges of the petal there. And as we come down, we just got a little bit more darker as it comes down. So as you can see, I've got that sort of gradient color coming down there. And then I'm going to do the same coming down on the other one. Right. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I think I'm going to get used to counting to 10. <laughs> right, let's bring this down. And just bring that shading down. So, And it's not quite as dark as this one. So, so let's just bring that down a little bit round there. Okay, and then I'm going to do these other ones. I might only do this for eight now on the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just going to colour that in, blend that in a little bit more. Let me go. Right, okay, so now I'm coming down at the top. Now, don't worry when you're using the brush end that the point, once, because they're brand spanking new pens, um, the brush end will start to bend a little bit and that's natural because eventually eventually it will it will come into more of a brush movement so as you use them more and more they'll blend the brush nib will move move and just soften up a little bit but because these are brand brand new pens it's just not quite there yet okay all right so we've got that now i've noticed there i've just gone over over that line a little bit but I'm not worried because again when I come to do the next color I can sort of blend that in so that'll be fine and I'm just going to come down and do the these dark ones here now because these are a little bit darker looking back at my sheet I'm probably only going to maybe just do that as a three second so let's go in one two three 
and right, we've got a little bit at the top there and then we'll come down and then as we come down it's going to give that nice almost ombre colour isn't it really when you think about it all the different different shades as it comes down and then we come down to its more natural colour like so okay so that's the first one done so I'm going to carry on just finishing off the the um, BRK, the bark colour, and I'll be back. And finally, the last colour we're going to be using is BV4, which is blue violet, just to finish off the butterflies. So again, I'm using the brush end. So let's just turn that round. Right, we're going to put the um, just have a little tester just to see. Now, notice in here, I don't quite want as much shading coming down like they have on their picture with that so I'm gonna try initially a number eight to see how we go for eight seconds so let's just give that a go one two three four five six seven eight let's just try that up here actually I quite like that might try a ten just to see what it looks like with ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remembering to keep your pen upright. Let's bring that down. Okay, so just looking at these two here, I think I'll probably go with the ten because I can always go back over and add in a little bit more colour if I need to. Right, so here we go. So let's have a go at one of these butterflies then. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, remembering here on the picture, they show you the sun. So we sort of bring the sun here. So this is just going to have a little bit of colour there. And we're just going to come through and give that a little bit of a shade. I want a little bit more darker just, just on there so I can bring that through there. Like so, so maybe 10 was a little bit too much, so let's go with 8 then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Obviously you can count and do this in your head, but I'm just counting just so that you can see how long I'm leaving this for. So let's colour this through. A little bit on there. Bringing that shading round. Just a little bit dark around there like so. I'm quite liking the look of that. And then we're just going to do these little ones up here. These are quite small areas. So I might only do this for five. One, two, three, four, five. So again, a little bit of blue shade. And then we're just going to come in slightly darker. Pick up these little bits here. Oh, it looks like I've missed a bit of brown there. I'll go back and do that in a minute. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and just bring that colour colour around there. We've got a little bit of blue going up there, like so. All right, okay, looking, looking good. Now, because I've got a little bit of a line going on there, I'm just going to blend that a little bit more. One, two three four five so i can just go over that and just give that a little bit more of a gradient and i can do the same on that one you can just play around with these pens really that's what i love about them that they just they just flow so so naturally and then we'll come down to the final final one so let's go one two three four five six seven eight for those it's go with eight so we're going to come across on that one come across on that one now as you can see where i had gone over that with the brown i've just been able to blend that in so that's fine um and then we're just going again one two three four five because i've got a little bit of the shade in there so i want to come in a little bit a little bit darker now just as we're coming into the center of the butterfly wing. Uh, okay. Let's go a little bit darker in there, like so. Almost finished. Right. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do just on this one. So again, shading at the top because we're thinking about where the sunlight is coming in. I'm just going to bring that down so we get a nice shade of blue. And here comes the natural colour of the blue. I'll just bring that in like so. Okay, so we've got that nice dark bit there. Just tuck that in there. All right, and then on this final wing coming up here, we've got the, as I said, the light coming down. So we're going to do a little bit of highlight there. So let's go. Well, let's try eight this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're just going to do that bit. So you just get a little bit of the colour there. And then as we're coming in, we get more colour coming through. And just pick up that bit there and then we're going to do the same again for the last one one two three four five and then we're just going to come across okay okay like so and just to finish that off like that and then we've just got this little bit here that I've missed out so let's just do a three second one two three just to get that shading in on that bit with the darkness at the at the end okay right there we are so let's just pop my pen lids on and let's have a little look and there we have it so I think in reality, I think I'm not done too bad a job. You know, my scrap bit of card with all my colour uh, um, timings on it has worked, has helped me work with that. But when you look at the original to look at the one that I've just done, not a bad job at all. Let's get crafty-wafty!